a day has passed since Hibbs, Hibbs the, but the anger directed at Hibernian and David Gray will not pass as the Hibs fans still want him out of the club. Welcome back guys to Fog Football. We're going to look at the reaction of the Hibernian fans to their 3-2 defeat against Dundee United at Tanadice in a game that, you know, Hibs well and truly did Hibs it in typical fashion, the only way that they truly can. They were 2-1 up going into injury time. They were still 2-1 up, 92 minutes played, and then they ended up losing it by three goals to two. And it wasn't just the fact that they lost the game. It wasn't the fact they conceded two really shocking goals in injury time. It was also the fact that by conceding those, those two goals, it sent them bottom of the table. So just a disaster all round for Hibs, and you feel like they need a change, and they probably need it soon. So yeah, we're following Hibs on Twitter, but you guys can follow us at fog under slash foot ba 49067 where we will be doing live tweeting for games and stuff like that, maybe getting some content out on Twitter too. Anyway, let's get into it. John Burke. M-I-E-M-A says the club is being run into the ground by a group of people who have made horrendous decisions after horrendous decision. I mean, true. That is true. Hibs have been really, really poor now for a long, long time. I think the last time Hibs looked good probably was under Neil Lennon. After that, it's just been misery after misery after misery. And I mean, who was the last Hibs manager that wasn't shocking? I mean, Jack Ross, I think, had a an okay spell, but yeah, it's just not been good enough from Hibson, whether it be uh, David Gray or Montgomery or Maloney or whoever the guy was before that. I honestly can't. There's been that many. There's been that many Hibs managers that it is hard to remember them all, but they've all sucked. You know, they've all failed. Um, as St. Johnson now says Hibs did, which of course they did. Luke Cunningham, what's he saying? This is brutal, by the way. Club's been in a mess since we decided that a manager that got his third and consistently into semis and finals deserved to be sacked after his first sticky patch. Been scrambling in the dark since. Which is true. Exactly as I said at the time. Uh, JR was pretty clueless as well. Awful tactics. No plan B and benefited from Hearts not being in the league. But he was certainly better than the Dross we've appointed since. Yeah, look, Jack Ross, I think... He was decent. I mean, there's, there's not been a better match. Put it this way. Everyone that Hibs have got since Jack Ross has been way worse. Now, you can argue maybe Jack Ross wasn't great himself, but everybody that Hibs have appointed since then has been a massive downgrade. So, yeah, maybe they should have kept him. Silverback says, what the actual fuck needs to be cleared out from top to bottom? Jambo, Jambiasso says, mind the gap, lads. And we've got Neil Critchley there. I, I'm not going to get too excited over Neil Critchley just yet, but... I mean, it's not much of a gap either. I mean, come on. We're level on points for fuck's sake. Scott Miller says, Peak Hib sending out questions this week on how they should celebrate our 150th year. Avoiding relegation would be priority. That'd be a disaster if Hibs went down. It would be an absolute disgrace. But, I mean, at this point, I think it's a possibility. I really do believe Hibs could go down. It looks like it could be a three-way fight. I'm going to assume that Kilmarnock and St Mirren will be in the top six. Mullerwell and Dundee United have had a great start to the season. Oh, no, not top six, but I'm assuming Kilmarnock and St Mirren, you know, will not be in a relegation battle. Same goes for Mullerwell and Kilmarnock, because they've had good starts to the seasons. Uh, obviously, the old firm won't. Celtic won't. Hearts won't. So, you're running out of teams. I think Dundee will be fine. They got a big win yesterday. So, it kind of does leave Hibernian with St Johnston and Ross County. And I wouldn't be surprised if Hibs are in a relegation battle with those two teams. I think it could be uh, the case come the end of the season. Uh, Joe284 official says, worst start in years and we are still above you. And that probably sums up everything for Hibernian. Look how, look how bad Hearts have been. Hearts have been atrocious, yet they still find themselves ahead of Hibs. Albeit, I believe they've played a game more, but still, it's a shocking, it's a shocking time to be a Hibs fan. It has been for a while and it still is. Prawl says, sack the board ASAP. Chris Wood, Joe Newell again. Mr. Captain Fantastic, get him to fuck. Be lucky if Hearts don't take four or five off us next week. Genuinely, take Bursic to fucking all. Up there with one of the worst goalies in a long time, by the way. I agree, Bursic was terrible yesterday. I thought he was at fault for, definitely at fault for the third. He could have done a hell of a lot better for the second. 
in the first one, you know, I think he could have done something as well. So for me, Bursic, shocking yesterday. Mark says, you lot are the best rivals in the world. You really are. So, <laughs> I mean, even the Hearts fans are loving it here. Gio says, grey out. Uh, Mark Campbell says, best rivals ever. So, I mean, a lot of Hearts fans getting stuck in here. Although we don't really have much to scream and shout about, to be honest. Duncan Smith says, trust the process. Kenzel out. Gordon out. Grey out. Kieran O'Hara, losers club run by fucking clowns. You and Boyle, make Josh Campbell walk back to the fucking, the fucking reprobate. Was Josh Campbell really the worst? I thought it was Bursic, man. For me, Bursic was shocking. But the defending in general wasn't good, especially for the second goal. Like, what the hell were they doing? Uh, Braden says, yo, ho, ho, off we go, championship cheerio. Again, as a Hearts fan, I, I, I'm just not that... I, I, I can't really bash Hibs too much because we've been shite. We've been absolutely crap, so... I'm not going to sit here and bash Hibs. Yeah, we're, we're ahead of them, but we'll play the game more. We'll see if we're ahead of them next week. Hibs cunt says, should have listened to Foley. Alan says, Hibs that again. Stephen, 1875, I don't care what anyone says. We've got absolutely shafted. Eight minutes added on at the end. For fucking what? They get the winning goal, nine minutes added on. Referee was a disgrace, but our defence was shambolic. The defending was shambolic. Hibs need to do better. Especially Bursic and Nets. He was awful. Uh, honestly, that third goal, I, I have no idea what he was doing, but it was really bad. <laughs> Almost like he wanted Hibs to lose. Barney McGrew says, just lock the doors on Monday morning and be done with it. Liquidate the entire club. Maybe that's what Hibs should do. Just <laughs> get this over and done with. Yeah, not good for Hibs. <laughs> Awful, actually. Uh, Stephen McAnally says, not good enough. Hibs, just not good enough. No excuses. We are going backwards with no improvement anywhere nearly in sight. Uh, Grey out, Scott Brown in, says this guy right here. Wait, is that not that famous guy? No, it's no. I mean, is that not the guy that's on, is he Is he not on TikTok, this dude here? I'm pretty sure this guy's, is he not in a beef with somebody? I don't know. Uh, Joe Donahoe says, trust the process. I said famous, he's not really famous, but I think he, I think he had a TikTok go pretty viral. Uh, Christopher FM 1835 says, listen, it's 100% unacceptable to be rock bottom heading into November. I don't hate Gray or anything. I actually wish it would have worked out for him, but I actually don't want him in the first place in case fans turned on him and he ruined his reputation with the club. Connor says, love you. Elgin Hibby, yet again, played the self-destruct card. This team is no winners. We have been weak at the back for the past four seasons and the pros have failed to recognise and address it. Too many players acting like victims rather than winners. Dire, dire, dire. Hibby85, Scottish Indy85, says time for Grey to go. That's it. It's not going to get any better. He should have never been appointed in the first place. I agree with that. I mean, he shouldn't have been appointed in the first place. But look, he took the job. He took the opportunity. Who are we to say to Gray, you know, a, a, a guy that's a, a club legend, the guy that won the Scottish Cup for them, who are we to say, you can't take the Hibs job because you, you're probably not going to be good enough? You know, that's... It would have been embarrassing if he didn't take it. You know, a chance to manage the club that he supports, a chance to try and prove himself, a chance to have some faith in his abilities... You've got to back yourself. I, I don't blame David Gray for taking this job at all. I blame the people at Hibs who appointed him because he, he quite clearly probably was not good enough. And Hibs needed someone who could come in and steady the ship. Hibs needed someone who is good enough, you know, after multiple seasons of failure. And just appointing David Gray, who's just inexperienced and not proven at any sort of level, it was always going to end in disaster. I don't blame David Gray for for jumping at the opportunity because anybody would. And I think you're lying to yourself if you said you wouldn't. Even if you didn't think you were good enough, you would want to try and be good enough. You would want to learn on the job. You would want to have belief that you can be the man to do it and you can be the guy to take Hibs to success and you know make the club good. But it just hasn't worked out for him. So I don't think we can blame David Gray for taking the job. You've got to blame the people in charge that put him in that position, in my opinion anyway. Uh, Jim Porte says relegation. Paul Nickel, new owners please, Gordon's out. Paul Ponton says fucking boo, Sean Menzies, Hibs, Hibs are falling apart again. I mean, Hibs are always falling apart. Riverside Rude Boy, nope, we're on our way from misery to hopelessness today. Awful defending of crosses and Newell losing the, the heat with a stupid second yell, turned the game. Miller awful, Campbell adding nothing. 
Gale looked class. I mean, yeah, Gale might have looked all right, but I mean, it's not enough, is it really? Dwight Gale, he's not going to be the man to save them. Uh, Alan says, it's time we have to get them out or we are going down. Hands off Hibs. So, yeah, I guess they need new owners. Need <laughs> need new something, that's for sure. Stevie Shaw says, we have an inexperienced manager and a group of players who continually let him down and the fans down. A recipe for disaster. Really concerned about the derby. Could easily be very embarrassing. Jamie Speed says, bring back Lennon. James Johnson says, David Gray needs to go and so does Ben Kensal. Useless. Uh, Parama says, yet another experiment not working. Malky has made this team even worse. Finlay says, Gray out. KG says, I'll be surprised if Gray is still here. Come the derby. Brad Arthur said, at least the manager scored a header eight years ago. It was a good header, though, wasn't it? But honestly, I mean, I think he will be there. I, I don't see how David Gray is sacked before the derby game. However, I do think that he could be sacked after the derby game, or it might even get to the point, well, he's probably not going to walk away because he'll, he'll want to get money out of this, he'll want to get paid off, but yeah, it depends. Next week, if David Gray can avoid defeat, then he'll, he'll survive. If he can beat Hearts, then he'll buy himself a little bit of time. If he loses to Hearts, then I, I do think that's him done. I think he's gone, and I, I believe that Hibernian will be looking for a new manager. And, I mean, who knows? We've got another international break coming up soon, so maybe that'll be the perfect time for Hibs to try and appoint somebody. But I'll be surprised. I'll be... If David Gray is still the manager of Hibs by the end of November, I'll be pretty shocked. So that's my prediction, guys. Come November, end of it, he'll be he'll be gone, and Hibs will have somebody new sitting in the hot seat that isn't very hot. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, that's it. Fog Football. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and peace out.